Happening today, more room will become available to get outside in New Jersey. Parks will reopen to the public in Hoboken and down the shore. Plans are in the works in the works, excuse me, to reopen beaches. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller continues our coverage from Hoboken. Derek, good morning. Ken, good morning. Right now we're standing on Sinatra Drive facing this uh, beautiful New York City skyline. And you see these orange barricades here, park closed. That's been the case for a few weeks now. And today, these barricades facing the Hudson are going to come down as city parks reopen. Mayor Ravi Bala said he made that decision based on a downward trend in the uh, number of cases that are uh, happening here in New Jersey. And so the parks are going to be re reopening, but people will still have to social distance. And if you, uh, you know, leave the house, the people from your household, you can you can sit with them, but you need to stay away from other people. Keep that social distance from people who are not immediately in your household, and also wear that mask, as I said. And as we inch toward Memorial Day weekend, beach towns are trying to find a way forward. In Belmar, they've decided to reopen the boardwalk today. That's also the case down in Wildwood in Cape May County. Officials there will also allow home rentals of 30 days or longer, starting on Monday. Shorter rentals can resume June 1st. Governor Phil Murphy, who just extended the statewide public health emergency into June, is not objecting. I don't begrudge Cape May County for sort of trying to lay a plan out. Tourism is a huge part of their economic reality. We respect that, understand that, and we want to do everything we can responsibly to support it. And of course, we have some parks reopening this weekend, boardwalks reopening as well. But you just heard the weather forecast. Obviously, social distancing should not be much of a problem, at least this weekend.